The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com. We're in a winter wheat field here near Stratford, Ontario. Was seeded last fall. Ah, you can see a little surgery on my finger here. I really appreciate the healthcare system in Ontario. The surgeons here doing a super job. I want to do a little surgery on the wheat crop as well. So right now, lots of questions about the flag leaf is coming. In fact, the flag leaf is emerging way faster than we thought. The heat last week has really driven the wheat crop forward. Remember, it's all about growing degree days and it's pretty simple. 100 growing degree days, plus or minus, it depends, but 100 growing degree days means we go through a leaf stage. And last week, 30 daytime, 18 nighttime, 30 plus 18 is 48, divide that by two, 24 growing degree days. We got a leaf in four days. So I wanna talk T2 timing, I wanna talk T3 timing. What does that mean? T2 is flag leaf timing, T3 is head spray timing. How do I know if the flag leaf is emerged? It's really quite simple. By the way, look at that wheat. That wheat is amazing, it's so thick. There are fields out there that are wall to wall wheat. But to tell if it's the flag leaf or not that's emerging, all you have to do is find the first node. Once you find the first node, the leaf that attaches to the first node, we count that as leaf four. Count the leaves up from there, three, two, one, and guess what? The flag leaf on this plant is just starting to emerge. So it's growth stage 37, it's not full flag leaf. Fungicides do not spread very well on the plant. So it's translaminar flow, which means it moves from cell to cell. So if I spray this plant with that flag leaf just poking out, I don't get full protection on the flag leaf. So for a T2 timing, in particular in Western Canada, where we don't spray a T3, where we don't spray for fusarium, we want the flag leaf to be fully emerged so that when we spray it, we cover the entire flag leaf and give ourselves maximum protection. Here in Eastern Canada, where we always spray a T3, we just have to, fusarium is such a big problem. Well, we could spray this and call it a T2. It's actually not a T2, but we could call it a T2. So then you back up and you say, okay, Peter, so what's the yield benefit? Are you saying I should just always spray T2 and T3? No, not at all. If you look at this crop, even though it's massive crop, we don't have much disease in this crop. And so when we look at the data, Dr. Dave Hooker, Ridgetown Campus, University of Guelph, excellent research, 2008 to 2010, the SMART trials, when I do a T2 plus a T3, I get 2.8 bushel per acre yield gain. Let's call it three bushels. Most of the time you would say no disease. Man, that doesn't make sense. Then comes along 2022 and wheat goes to $15 a bushel. Insanity. All of a sudden three bushels, yeah, it might be worth chasing. Now, one of the things I do want to mention is if you're going to use a T2 fungicide and a T3 fungicide from a resistance management standpoint, it's way better if you can use a product that doesn't have the same actives in it at T2 as you're going to use at T3. I know that, that the chances of resistance using the same product are fairly low, I, I realize that, but why take the risk? So I'm of the opinion, use two different products if you're going to do both. The key in Ontario and in Eastern Canada is the T3 timing. Remember, that's when the head fully clears the ligule of the flag leaf We've done that before lots of times. The head has to be totally cleared. And that, when 75% of the heads are totally cleared, that is day zero. 
Perfect timing is day two. We used to say that by day four, we had to shut it down. Not anymore. The new research actually says we have till at least day six, even day eight. We might see a little bit less control in terms of visual head scab when we spray late, but we actually see greater reduction in dawn. So there you have it. In Western Canada, wait for that flag leaf to fully emerge. If you're only going to do one fungicide and try to maximize that, that wheat yield on a year when prices are high, of course, Alberta's dry and Manitoba's wet and there's all sorts of other things that come into play. But here in Ontario, if you want to do that, make sure that you're getting to that flag leaf. We want to get at least a little bit of that flag leaf covered so that we get the maximum protection that we can. Peter Johnson at Wheat, Pete, realagriculture.com, grow great wheat.